Hello everyone, welcome to Excel. Today we are going to be talking about how we can uh, work with our worksheets in Excel. So by the end of today's video, you should be able to know how you can work with your Excel. When I mean by working, how you can insert, you can also copy, also to delete, rename, change the tab color and all of that. So stay with me to the end of this video. And by the end of this video, I have something very important to share with you, a simple trick that you all must know. So stay till the end of this video, you are really going to enjoy it. Alright, so without waste of time, let's get started. Alright, so this is our worksheet which we have right here. So I'm doing this. Alright, this is our worksheet which we have here. So now down here are different sheets. So let's see how we can actually insert or create more sheets. You can simply click on this plus icon here or you right click on this come to insert and then you see worksheet which has been selected already you can also insert a chart also the rest of this then click on the worksheet and okay good this is it we just inserted a worksheet so we can click more on this or you right click come to insert and then worksheets okay so this is how you can actually create or insert a worksheet in Microsoft Excel. All right, so let's say we want to rename our worksheets. This is what you have to do. Right click on this, come right straight to rename, and then you can name it. All right, so let's say we are going to be naming them the days of the week. So let's go. We're having this as Monday. Come here, we're having this as Tuesday. And Wednesday. I hope you are also doing the same thing. Thursday. Friday. All right, we're just going to stop here. Good, all right, so let's say we now after renaming then in process of renaming we did more than expected then we want to delete it you just come there let's say we want to delete the friday you right click on it and come straight to delete then you can delete it good so this is how you can now rename also to delete okay so how about we are now trying to move or copy our worksheets now what do i mean by move or copy let's say on monday we are having something like this here. Okay, so I'm just going to be changing it to this color. And then the fill. All right, so let's say we're having this for Monday and then we want to copy this on another sheet. You right click come to move or copy then you click on create a copy i want to create a copy of monday if i want to create a copy for tuesday i can also click on that then i click ok then this is it here now we have the monday i will also have this monday now this is the second one which you are seeing these two in bracket here that is to say it is the second monday which was copied so if we come to this monday the first one here you are also going to be seeing the same thing also this the same thing so what we did was we copied the work sheet that is why you are having this so so this is how we can actually move or copy our work sheets all right so let's see some other thing we can actually do in excel let's see how we can actually change the tab color what do i mean by the chart tab color this right here so let's say what's to change the color for this you right click this is tab color then let's say we're changing it to red this is it red so come here you right click tab color let's change this to yellow come here right click you change this to some other color so you can change for all of them change for all of them good believing you've all done that so this is how you can actually change the tab color for your worksheet so Changing it this way, sometimes it's actually better. 
why do I say it's better? So that you can actually differentiate them by their color. So at first they were actually having the same color. So having a tab color on each of the worksheets makes it different and you can easily identify whichever one. How about we want to hide the worksheets? Now, let's say we want to hide this Thursday. Right click, come to hide, you click on hide. Now, it has been hidden. The Thursday has been hidden. So, let's say we now want to unhide. You come to unhide, you click for Thursday, and then hit OK. Now, this is it here. It's out. Now, let me do it one more time. Come there to any of the tab you want to hide. You right click, you see hide, you click on hide. Now, it's hidden. All right. So, we now want to unhide it. You just click on any of the tab. Right click on any. You see unhide, you click, and then the Monday, click OK. Now it's out. So maybe you are having um, so many data on different worksheets and you do not want to actually share the data on a particular worksheet. You can simply hide it. Then when you are done sharing it to others, you can then unhide it. So that's how you can actually work with the hiding and the unhiding. All right, so that is all we are going to be discussing about the worksheets. How you can actually work with the worksheets so remember i told you guys i'm going to be sharing some trick with you so now this is the trick now let's say you have a company and uh, in the company you asked that there should be different data for or, or should i say there should be same data for every worker you have but the title should be their name, but different names. Now, let me explain it better. They are having different names, but the data, which are like under the names, maybe it could be um, the same treatment they are receiving every month, or what they have to expect every month are the same. All you just have to do now is you just be changing their names, which is at the title. Now, this is a simple trick on how you can do just that. Okay, now I'll come to Monday. For instance, I'll hold my shift key. I click on Tuesday, click on Wednesday, Thursday. Good. Now, after clicking on that, I can now do anything I want to do here. Now, let's say this, I select it. And uh, I'm just going to be changing the color to this. And also, I'm having a title. Let me use the merge and center. Now, let's say I'm having the head as this. For instance, yeah, let me increase it. Good. So now let's say I'm having this. Now remember, I selected all of these worksheets together. Good. So now after doing this, it's actually going to apply on all of them. Why? Because I selected all of them at the same time. Now, if I, I'll just come back to my Monday and come here, this is it. If I go to Tuesday, I'll see the same thing. Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to be seeing the same thing. So now this is it this is the simple trick on how you can actually do it so you could be actually be having so many worksheets and you can simply just do this instead of working on one then maybe you copy it or you move to the next sheet and start doing the same thing so you can simply just highlight all of them work on it and it will affect all of them at the same time so that is that simple trick i want to share with you guys today all right so this is where we are going to stop for today. So do not forget to hit the subscribe button, continue to share this video, and also drop a comment. Let us know how you feel about the video. Do you really enjoy the video? Let us know. We will be so grateful and we will get back to you if it's necessary for us to. Alright, so see you guys in our next class and do not forget, please hit the subscribe button and share the video. So take care.